let's calm down. Wait, why, why, why are we supposed to calm down? Why is it that somehow the emotions of excitement and intense laughter or even intense rage, the fires that are streaming through your system are somehow less spiritual than inner steady peace? It doesn't make sense. It's just a state of being. It's just waves on the surface of the mind. You know, the ocean is still the ocean even when there is a storm raging. <laughs> you know, when there is a tsunami arriving where everything gets flooded and the intensity kicks in, in the core of your being, that's still a state of being. You can stay present, you can stay alive. You can stay awake in the middle of the raging storms. It doesn't mean that peace is right and raging storms are wrong. Stay awake, stay present in the middle of all these raging fires that cross your system, emotions that destroy you from within. Why not? Dive in, accept them, rise them, play with them, play with these fires. Rajasik, Raja, Rajas. It's the state of excitement, the state of fire, the state of movement. Why is this less spiritual than silence no movement no both both are equivalent in the value that they have for your spiritual evolution both are precious there is no need to separate there is no need to make a distinction there is no need to judge you can be in a state of excitement power awakening raging fire and be completely enlightened in the process instead of being bringing silence to your third eye, you can bring intense activation, the spinning of a vortex that blasts your third eye completely wide open. Instead of slowing down your thoughts, you can speed them up. You can activate, accelerate, dive into a vortex that is going to fucking destroy you and stay alive and anchored and centered in the middle of all that. In the middle of the ocean, in the middle of the waves, in the middle of the storm, this might be the moment where you access your truth. This might be the bliss gasm in the middle of this raging fire, in the middle of this intensity that you touch and that wakes you up. So don't run away from intensity. If you feel anger, if you feel frustration, if you feel intense sadness, desperation, Instead of running away from all the shadow emotions, what we call shadow emotions, instead of running away from them, just stay present and be like, wow, you know, this is actually a fire. This is an intensity. It's a friction. It's an unbalance that I can use to project myself forward. The intensity of survival, of the survival drive, is a force that drives, you know, humankind forward. It drives us forward, the fires, the energy, the need for survival. And so these states of awakened emotions, of powerful emotions raging through your systems, those emotions, this intensity, can be the fire that activates your awakening. I love you.